Well, hello for you, and welcome to Solving Trigonometric Equations. Our topic today is Solving Trigonometric Equations, and our goal, I can solve equations that evolve trigonometric ratios. So we're going to solve trigonometric equations. How many times can I say that in the space of 30 seconds? Um, solving a trig equation is the same as solving any other equation. We just have to find the value for x that will make the equation true. But you have to remember that as we go through one complete rotation, and usually that's what I'm going to ask you for. I'm going to ask you to go through one complete rotation. And that's what this thing here means. From 0 to 2 pi means that I go from 0, which means that my angle is here, all the way around to 2 pi. Okay, So just remember that in that um, 0 to 2 pi, there will every sine value, that's I've got bold up here, every value of sine will have two angles to match it. Two. Okay. Um, so we're going to start, we're going to do this mostly by example. So here we go, example one. Determine the solution to equation from 0 to 2 pi, okay, so that means I have to consider all four quads here, um, where sine, 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0. So what I really want to do is get sine x by itself. So to get sine x by itself, um, I'm first going to subtract 1 on both sides. So I have 2 sine x equals negative 1. And then divide both sides by 2. So I have sine x equals negative 1 half. Now sine of 1 half is one of our special triangles. Uh, it's the 1, 2, root 3 triangle, um, where sine opposite over hypotenuse is this angle in here. Opposite over hypotenuse would be sine. So that's pi by 6. So pi by 6 is in the first quadrant over here. So we can think of having this triangle in the first quadrant. And I just drew the circle just for reference point. This is not the unit circle because I'm going to put a 2 on uh, the hypotenuse, which means that it has um, a radius of 2. Uh, and this is 1 and this is root 3. Now this angle in here is pi by 6. Now here's the problem. Uh, all values, sine, cos, and tan, are positive in this quadrant. So pi by 6 is not one of our answers. Um, we have to think of where sine is actually negative. Well, take a look here. Sine is positive in this quadrant and positive in this quadrant. So those are not the quadrants we're looking for. We need the two quadrants where sine is negative because that is negative. So we need down here because there's no sine positive there. So how do we get this triangle down into here? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw this triangle directly across so that I get another triangle because of opposite angles that has a pi by 6 in it. So down in here, pi by 6. And then I'm going to reflect this down here so that I get another triangle that has a pi by 6 in it, right here. So it's these two angles and I'm going to, uh, let's use a different color, the two angles, one that starts here and goes to here, that's one of them, and the other one starts here and goes around to here so that we got the same. Now remember the little triangles you draw uh, have to have to be to the x-axis not to the y-axis so you have to have them being right on the uh, have one arm of it on the on the x-axis um, so that your x's and y's are going to be the same thing with just different signs. So there we go. Those are the two angles we need. How do we find those angles? Well, um, I know that from here to here is pi, and then I have to add another pi by 6. So my x is going to equal pi plus pi by 6, which is 6 pi by 6. That's what pi is, because those 6's will cancel, plus pi by 6. Uh, is 7 pi by 6. Right, so there's one one value of, of my angle. Uh, what's the other value of the angle? Well, the other value of the angle is over here. 
So it's almost a full rotation. It's just pi by 6 off a full rotation. So to find that x, and I'm going to put a little subscript 1 here because now we're going to find x2. x2 occurs when I have 2 pi, uh, but not quite 2 pi. I haven't gone all the way around. I'm pi by 6 off. So I have to take pi by 6 off of 2 pi. And of course 2 pi by 6 is the same as say, or 2 pi is the same as saying 12 pi by 6 minus pi by 6. Uh, is 11 pi by 6. So there are my two values of x, x1 and x2. There's 7 pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6. And those are the two values of sine that are going to work in here. Okay, moving right along. Now, down here we have another one that says determine the solution to the equation, and again we're looking at 0 to 2 pi, so we have to go f one full um, wrap around, which means that we're going to get two answers, because there's going to be two areas in here, there's always two values of, uh, of sine, cos, and tan that have their, there's two angles that have the same value of sine, cos, and tan. So the first thing we have to do is just get tan x by itself. So let's just treat tan x by itself and rearrange this equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 3. And so I get tan x plus 1 equals 2 thirds. And then I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So I get tan x equals and when I subtract 1 from 2 thirds, I get negative 1 third. Now, 1 third is not part of any special triangle. So I cannot actually get this exactly. So I'm going to use radians, like just decimal radians. Um, so I'm going to bring up my calculator. Now I'm going to make sure it's in radians, not degrees. And we're going to do the inverse tan. We're just going to do this like this was a, a question in um, uh, in degrees. So I'm going to take negative one-third, so I'm going to do negative one divided by three to get my negative one-third. Oops, it's not negative. Let's make it negative. Uh, and then I'm going to go shift tan, because I need tan to the negative one. So I'm going to go shift tan. Um, and I get negative uh, 0 0.322 if I round it to three places. Negative 0 0.322. Now, one thing that we know here, first of all, is that x is a negative value, and from 0 to 2 pi, we don't have any negative values, uh, because I'm going this direction. So this x will not work. I've got to figure out what uh, this is as a positive value. So where is negative 0.322? Now remember, uh, as a rotation, and if we're rotating backwards, this would be 0, this would be pi by 2, and pi by 2 is about, uh, well it's half of 3.14, so you know it's a 1 and um, one and a half, a little bit more than 1 and a half, so 1.5 something. And then over here is 3.14. And then up here, and, and back around here is 2.6, uh, six, or six, oops, 6.28. And right in the middle here is, oh, about 4.6, somewhere around there. And if we were going the right direction, like these are all negative directions because I'm going around this way. Um, th the only thing I'm getting at is from 0 to 1 and a half, that is where this thing falls. And the negative means I'm going around the wrong direction. So I'm going to take these things off of here. And you just have to, have, just have to remember uh, what each of those things mean. So um, this negative 0.32 is somewhere in this quadrant. So this angle in here, uh, 0. 322 two is what that is in rads. Rad. Now I have to actually figure this out um, in positive. I want this thing over here. 
Now down in here we know tan is negative because tan is positive in this quadrant and this quadrant. So we want to find an angle in this quadrant and this quadrant. So this is actually one of the angles I need. Uh, I just have to get this. And the way I get that, it goes almost all the way around except it's this 0 0.32 radians off. So to find that, I'm going to go x, oops, let's pick a different color. I'm going to say x1 equals 2 pi, but it's not quite 2 pi, I'm just 0.32 uh, 2. So I'm going to subtract 0 0.322. Now just type that into the calculator, 2 pi minus 0 0.322. You're going to find that it's 5.961 radians. Now remember, there's two, um, two ones that I want though. There's, there's one over in this quadrant too. So I'm going to, I need to get a triangle over here that has the same angle in it. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to stretch this right across here. And then by opposite angles, that and that are going to be the same. So this little angle in here is 0 0.322. Now, how do I figure out what this is in standard? Standard, which means I have to go from there to there. Um, well, if I went halfway around, I'd have um, one full pi. But I don't want to go halfway around. I have to take that little bit off. So, I'm going to go x2 equals pi, but it's not quite pi. I have to subtract off 0 0.322 um, rads, which gives me 2.820 rads. Now, if I give this to you on a test or on a journal, I would probably tell you on a question like this, I would say solve exactly, which would give you a clue that you are going to have to use a special triangle to, to figure this out. Um, down here, if I don't say solve exactly, uh, it lets you use your calculator to find it as a decimal in radians, and you still have to be able to locate it on, uh, on the, um, the plane, know exactly where that um, rotation is. Okay, so for this one, you may have to apply some identities before you can solve. So I want you to try to get your equation into just one primary trig ratio in some way. Okay, now this actually doesn't apply to the first one. The first one's already in one primary trig ratio, um, so we don't have to worry about it too much. But I want you to notice the quadratic nature of this primary trig ratio. It's quadratic. Um, if this said 2... Uh, let's use n. 2n squared minus 3n plus 1 equals 0. I'm hoping you would know how to solve it. You would actually try and factor it. Uh, and it does actually factor. If it didn't factor, you would put it into the quadratic formula. Uh, so this is 2n and n over here. And the only way I can get 1 on the end here is by 1 and 1. And then I multiply. This is 2 and this is 1, um, I need both negatives, so that's negative 3 in the middle. So that actually factors. Now, I didn't have n, I had sine x, not n. Um, but we can, let's actually figure out what the answer is here. n would equal 1 half from this um, bracket, or n would equal, oops, n would equal 1 half from this bracket, or n would equal 1 from this bracket here. Now, I don't have n, I have sine. So either sine is of x is 1 half, or sine of x equals 1. Now, when does sine x equal 1? That's the easy one to figure out. Sine x is 1. Remember, sine is the y-coordinate. So sine x is 1 when the unit circle has rotated up to here. And that's pi by 2. So we can just write that down. Sine x equals pi by 2. And there's no other place from 0 to 2 pi where sine x equals 1. Now, sine x equals a half. We already know that that's this little, little triangle here, the 1, 2, root 3 triangle, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's this little angle in here, which is pi by 6. So over here we have x is going to equal pi by 6. Now that's one answer, okay? So I've actually got 
one, two answers already, but there's some place else in here where sine of pi by where I get the same sine of a half. Because remember, pi by 6 is in the first quadrant, where everything, all, is positive. But sine is also positive in the second quadrant. So here I'm going to reflect this across here, so that this angle in here is pi by 6. Um, and I have to figure out what this rotation is. Well, that rotation would be pi if I rotated halfway around, but it's not quite pi. I stop pi by 6 short of that. So to get my last value of x, I say x3 equals pi. It's not quite pi. It's pi by 6 short of that, minus pi by 6. And pi minus pi by 6 is 5 pi by 6, uh, because pi is 6 pi by 6. So if I take 1 pi by 6 away from 6 pi by 6, I get 5 pi by 6. And those are my three answers. I get three answers here. You might want to circle your answers just to draw my attention to the fact of where they all are, because there's lots of them. So there's my three answers. Okay, now we're moving on to one where I actually am going to have to use an identity here. Uh, I've got secant squared and I've got tan x, so I'm going to have to do a manipulation here um, before I can uh, figure out what this is. So uh, it's easier to get it into sines and coses, uh, so let's try and get it into sines and coses and see where we go from there. So I've got two secant squared. Uh, minus 3 plus tan x. I'm going to change the secant squared into 1 over cos squared. So this is going to be t, <laughs> that's not a t, that's a 2. 2 over cos squared x uh, minus 3 plus sine x over cos x equals 0. Um, you know what? don't think this is going to work out because I'm going to get something exceedingly complicated here when I get uh, get this. Hmm. Well, let's carry on with it. Let's try and get a common denominator. So if I get a common denominator, I'm going to get uh, the Nope, changed my mind. Uh, we're not going to do it that way. Um, secant squared, uh, is, if we use the Pythagorean identity, secant squared x is... Uh, secant squared x is 1 plus tan squared. So I'm just going to erase what I had here. Oop, erase. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And, and we get uh, 2 times... 1 plus tan squared x uh, minus 3 plus tan x. And now I have it all in tans. Now a lot of times we like to try and get it in sines and cos, but tans is, tan is a primary trig ratio too, and so it's easy enough to work with. So now I'm going to expand and simplify this thing, so I have 2 plus uh, 2 tan squared x minus 3 plus tan x equals 0. And this is looking quadratic. I've got a tan squared and I've got a tan, so I'm going to rearrange it like a quadratic. 2 tan squared x uh, plus tan x, and then a positive 2 and a minus 3 gives me minus 1 equals 0. So once again, if I take a look at this, this looks like 2, let's call it n, 2n squared plus n minus 1. And we can factor it like that um, and see if it does. This one actually does factor. So I know there's a 2n and an n, and I know there's a 1 and a 1, and I know the signs have to be different, and I need a positive n in the middle, so I need more positives. So this swoopy here has to be positives and this is negatives to give me the negative 1 in the end. And so n has to equal 1 half 
from this, or n has to equal negative 1 uh, from this. But I didn't have n, I had tan. So tan x has to equal 1 half, or tan x has to equal negative 1. And there's actually going to be four places where this occurs because tan is going to be 1 half um, in two spots. Now the first thing we need to do is just like 1 half for tan. 1 half was a special angle for sine and cos. 1 half is not a special angle for tan. So we can just do the inverse tan of this and what we get is 0 0.464 and that's our x1. And since tan is positive in this quadrant and in this quadrant, we're going to draw this out. I know this 0 0.464 is over here. 0 0.464. And so the other one, I'm going to reflect it right across here so that opposite angles, this is 0 0.464. And that means that I need this like that. Um, so I have to do pi and then I have to add another 0 0.464. So I do x 2 equals pi plus 0 0.464 which turns out to be 3.606. Now for the other one tan x equals negative 1. This is a special angle um, because that comes tan is 1 from the 1 1 root 2 triangle and so we're looking at pi by 4. Uh, but it's not just pi by 4 because tan this has to be negative 1 and tan is negative in the other two quadrants. So I'm going to draw this out again. Uh, I'm not going to use it up here. Tan is negative in this quadrant and in this quadrant. So I have to, I know that I need this pi by 4 in here, but that's not even one of my answers because pi by 4 will give me a positive tan. So I'm going to need this one over here, which has a pi by 4 in here. And I need this down here, so I'm going to reflect that down so that this is pi by 4 in here. And so what I need now, and I'm going to draw it on in green, I need this angle in here which is going to be, we're going to call that x1, and it's not quite pi, we're going to subtract off pi by 4. So pi minus pi by 4. And that is going to be um, 3 pi by 4. And x2 is going to equal, well let's have a look, uh, let's use red. We'll go all the way around, not quite all the way around though, not quite 2 pi, I got to subtract off that pi by 4. I stop pi by 4 short of 2 pi, so I have to go 2 pi minus pi by 4. And of course 2 pi would actually be 8 pi by 4's, so this is 7 pi by 4 as my answer. And so those are our four answers, I'm going to highlight them. Whoops, not with that color, that's gross. There, 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 and there are our four angles. Now there is one more example, but this video is running a little long. It's 23 minutes already. Um, so I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to do that in a different video. Um, the next one is one that involves a trig identity too, but it's just a little bit of a, a different um, type of trig identity to simplify. Uh, so I'll do that in a separate video, probably only about a five minute video. Um, but uh, you can go and take a break and watch it some other time.